Hello everybody, I'm Eddie. I'm Renee. And we are Couch, Couch to, to Trail. Trail. We're gonna do a little introductory video for our upcoming 2023 Appalachian Trail through hike. And we'd just like to let you know who we are and give you a little reason of why we wanna hike the trail. So without further ado, I'll let you start why you wanna hike the trail. So I got introduced to the Appalachian Trail from a very, very good friend, Chris in Virginia. Shout out to Chris. Mm -hmm. And um, she introduced me to it and I thought, oh, that'd be amazing to do that. Like what an awesome experience. And then I didn't get to actually go any hiking with her on the trail due to life circumstances until summer, not last summer, the summer before. And her and I did the state of Maryland together and I fell in love. I There's something about being on the trail that was just so magical. I didn't have any negative thoughts. I had horrible blisters. My shoulders were incredibly bruised from the wrong size pack. I mean, equipment wise, it was a nightmare. But inside, I just felt so whole while I was on the trail and i just decided right then and there like i have to do this like this trail is calling me to do this i know that there's something for me in this trail so i think there's some things that i want to shred off of me and that's physically i'd like to lose some weight um, i lost my parents um, both my parents just before covid and i'm still dealing with some of the side effects of that um, so emotionally, there are some things that I just want to shred off and just get some more wholeness for. Physically, I gained a lot of weight after my parents died, and so I would like to shred some of that weight off. And um, just mentally and spiritually, I know that there's some things that I need to shred off as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to just becoming more whole um, during this experience. So. The way home is through Katahdin. There's no other way, there's no other option. And uh, we're looking forward to this incredible, difficult, but a way to overcome journey of the Appalachian Trail. All right, and for myself, um, a main, my main reason for going is because my wife wants to go. And the reason I want to go with her is to share this once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, if I, and originally I was not going, I was going to let her go by herself. And the more I thought about it, I was like, man, I'm going to miss everything she's going to see. I'm not going to be there to share it with her. Mm -hmm. So that's the main reason I'm going. Uh, the other reason is just for the challenge. Um, I'm not naive. I know this will be difficult and there's a chance we won't make it but we're gonna give it our best effort mm -hmm. and I think we can do it, mm -hmm. but I'm also realistic in knowing that this is not easy, yeah. so yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the way I see it is um, the Appalachian Trail is offering a challenge and it can no longer be denied. Mm -hmm. Like I cannot deny this challenge anymore. And the fact that we have this on the East Coast of America for us to enjoy and people come from all over the world like um, I'm in the school system and I, I've been asking I've been substitute teaching in a high school and I've been asking the students who's heard of the Appalachian Trail and there are some classes in the high schools where nobody knows or has ever heard of the Appalachian Trail out of 30 kids in a classroom and it just makes me so sad that we have this American treasure and people don't know about it so our goal for Couch to Trail is that you don't have to have the best equipment. You don't have to be in shape. We are not in shape. We're both overweight. You just have to decide that you're gonna do it and go do it and just listen to your body and take your time. We're not gonna be doing big miles in the beginning because we're out of shape. We're gonna have to wait for the trail to get us in shape until we get our trail legs and we're not in a hurry, so we're fine with that. But we are going to do this. Yes. And we're not gonna allow any of our circumstances to tell us that we can't do it. And that was the reason for Couch to Trail. We are in our 50s, I'm in my later 50s. Um, 
And so we want to do this before maybe something will come up and we can't do it later. And so we're taking this opportunity to take care of this now and to get it off our bucket list. Mm -hmm. And uh, who knows what adventure will wait for us after that. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, peace. And look forward to seeing you out there. Yeah. Yeah, I hope to meet a lot of people. The, the Appalachian Trail has the nicest people I've ever met in my, in my life. Uh, Chris and I went on the trail again this last summer, and we had another phenomenal time. Um, we did part of the um, roller coaster and some other areas. And then when Eddie decided he wanted to come, we went overnight so that he could just sleep in the woods for a night. So Eddie's only slept in the woods one night. I've slept in the woods eight nights, I think. Eight or nine, I can't remember. But um, yeah, we're excited. We're very excited. We were supposed to leave February 13th, but we can't wait to go. So we're gonna leave a week earlier. So we have to change our um, date with it. Registration. The registration, because we do register. It's voluntary. We know you don't have to, but the Appalachian Trail is being kind to us. America's being kind to us by having this available to us. We want to be kind back to it. So we just want to be respectful both ways. So anyway, we're excited. We Take, are. Yeah, very, very excited. And we're going to be videoing every day. So Yeah, we're going to send videos. And we have, our, we have someone coming to stay at our house to look after our dogs and all that kind of stuff. So all the logistics are taken care of for us right now. So we're ready to go hit the trail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right.